Hi everyone and welcome to Understand the Bible. This is our Learn to Read the Bible feature where we just uh, read through a Bible passage together and then we just spend a few moments thinking about it. The idea being to help train you in how to read the Bible for yourself rather than just me sitting here and just giving you all the answers. You know, this is not a sermon as such. Uh, so today we're looking at Mark chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. Mark 3 verses 1 to 6. So um, if you haven't got a Bible there, do go and get it and um, yeah, or get it up on the screen. Um, I recommend a physical Bible, as I, and I, I always say. Um, Mark chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. Do follow along with me. Another time Jesus went into the synagogue and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, Stand up in front of everyone. Then Jesus asked them, Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger, and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. Okay, so how would we think about this passage? How would I think about this passage if I was reading this in my you know, Bible, sort of personal Bible reading time, my quiet time, it's sometimes called, um, I usually read my Bible in the mornings. How would I think about this? Um, it's interesting, it says another time that's how it starts. Uh, another time, and I wonder if Mark is trying to say to us how this is you know, related to the time before. It's interesting that the time before this, Jesus is talking about, it's also talking about the Sabbath, and it's also talking about the law. And, and actually, um, you can go back and look at the previous session if you want to have a little um, think about that if you, if you didn't catch that one. Um, but um, yeah, it's another dispute with the Pharisees and uh, and with the with the teachers of the law. And uh, and it's the occasion of it is when um, some people it says there was a man with a shriveled hand in the synagogue, and some uh, some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Some people were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. Why do you think that is? Why do you think they were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus who was doing good? Does that say something about the way that, that people relate to Jesus? Does that say something about perhaps you've seen that in some of your friends or family? You know, that people just don't seem to give Jesus a fair hearing. Why is that? It might be worth just, just thinking about that in your mind, thinking about the, the reactions that you've seen perhaps um, in yourself, the way you used to think about Jesus, or maybe in some of your friends or your family, or you know, think about the way that they think about Jesus and, and how perhaps that's, that's actually um, you know, something which the Bible um, predicts, if you like, and, and it goes back all the way back to here. Um, so they watched uh, him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Um, so they were keeping an eye on him. You know, they were saying, ah, if Jesus heals on the Sabbath, then we've got him, you know, because he's broken the law. He's even in the synagogue. You know, he's broken the law. But Jesus, he doesn't do it in secret. He says to the man, stand up in front of everyone. And I think if I was Jesus, I probably would have healed him, but done it, you know, quietly. But Jesus, he doesn't shrink back. It's almost like he wants to, to confront them. And, and he says to them, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. So Jesus asked them a question that they can't answer. He says, what is, what is lawful to do, to do good or evil? And that's some, you know, these are words which I often come back to when it comes to the law. You know, thinking, well, what, what is lawful to do, to do good or, or evil? Because there wasn't anything in the law when God gave them the Ten Commandments about the Sabbath. Obviously, it didn't say anything about healing on the Sabbath. And I think the, the Pharisees, 
they had made all of these laws about what you were allowed to do on the Sabbath and they had made it so that it was um, unlawful to do, you know, healing even. Uh, that was works and you weren't allowed to do that. But as Jesus says, no, no, you've got the, the principles are wrong. What's lawful is to do good, not evil. That's what's lawful on the Sabbath. And um, I think sometimes we can have that same issue. You know, and we, we thought about this a little bit in the previous session that we often, I think, misunderstand the law and we think it's about the rule itself and um, and keeping that, even if it means doing something, um, you know, not doing something good. Now, this doesn't mean that we can just disobey the laws. Obviously, when uh, it says thou shalt not murder, it doesn't mean thou shalt not murder unless someone is really, really annoying you or something like that. Um, but I, I think it does. It does give us a principle, doesn't it, to actually say, you know, we need to we need to do what is good rather than what is evil. So what I would um, I, I might do is just spend a bit of time thinking about this, thinking about God's laws and thinking, you know, how is it? Have we begun to to, to, to put it too hardly and too harshly, have we begun to actually, um, you know, see God's laws in the wrong way? Should we actually be looking to do good? You know, because God in his laws is intending for us to do what's right and what is good. And his laws, you know, guide us and help us to understand what that is. But it's very easy to start seeing the law in a, in a negative way. And, um, and, you know, we mustn't do that. So, yeah, think about think about the way that we see God's laws and perhaps ways in which we see see the law in, you know, in sort of a negative way rather than in a good way. And, and ask for God's help as well in seeing it in the right way. Um, so Jesus, he, he, asked, he says to the man, stretch out your hand and his hand was restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. So in an absolute irony... The Pharisees and the Herodians plot to kill Jesus. And Jesus had just said to them, what's lawful to do, to save life or to kill? You know, he just saved someone's life and they plotted to kill him, which says a lot about the, you know, the state of their hearts, doesn't it? And again, you know, this is looking forward to what would happen, what will happen to Jesus a bit later on in the Gospels. This conflict is going to end up. At the same time, uh, I think it is a window into into people's hearts, you know, to say that I think um, it was the preacher Dick Lucas who said uh, the cross is proof positive that given half a chance, mankind will murder his maker. And think about that, that the people there, the Pharisees, the Herodians, they would rather kill Jesus because he challenged them rather than... Um, allow Jesus to heal someone on the Sabbath. They, they got so upset about Jesus healing someone on the Sabbath that they would kill him rather than actually, um, you know, seeing who he truly is as the Son of God. That is pretty stunning, isn't it? And it might be worth reflecting on the depth of sinfulness that would lead someone to reject Jesus even when he, he just healed someone. Think about our, our spiritual state before God, because the Bible says a lot about sin and a lot about where our, our hearts are. So that's um, the third thing and the final thing that I would reflect on, thinking about what it says about our sinfulness and what God uh, needs to do in us to help us to see who Jesus really is. Well, let's um, as we come to a, a close, let's take a moment to pray now and ask for God to help us. Uh, to, to understand these things and you know to put them into practice in our lives. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for your word and thank you that it is a light to our feet, a lamp uh, to our paths. And we pray that you would help us to understand uh, your word as we read it, as we think about it. And especially, Lord, this passage, as we think about the Pharisees and the way that they did not understand uh, your laws. They didn't understand you and the way that they uh, rejected Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to instead have the right attitude to your law and the right attitude to Jesus. 
So please help us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today on the, this session of Learn to Read the Bible. Do check out the website if you haven't already, understandthebible.uk, or uh, do subscribe on YouTube or Facebook. There's a podcast as well. And um, yeah, you can subscribe on any of those things and um, get these delivered to you uh, every, every time they're uploaded. So thanks very much for watching everyone. And uh, until the next time, God bless.